It's a passionate play, a passionately anti-war play. It's also very frank on sex, on personal relationships, and on the breakdown of the family under the pressures that have been led by the horrors of war. The family about whom the play is written, the Ardsleys, are on the surface a prosperous middle-class family. Father's a retired or retiring country solicitor. The children, there's the son, Sidney, who is a veteran of the war, decorated in the war, and blinded in the war. He's looked after by his sister, Eva, who herself lost her fiancé in the war, and she is now an embittered spinster and carer of her brother. Of the other two sisters, one is married a, a man who was a very attractive, dashing soldier in the war, but is now an alcoholic. And the youngest daughter, uh, Lois, is um, a very pretty girl, but there are no men around, and she is equally desperate. There are other characters who are brought in. So, I play Collie who's a very interesting character in For Services Rendered. He's not in the direct family, which are directly concerned by the aftermath of war, but he's, he's in one of the satellite roles in that he becomes a friend of the family. And he, if you like, epitomizes the classic man who came out of the Navy, Navy, Army, whatever, and really had no skills and no acumen to cope with real life. It's a very, very dark, very passionate play. And there's a great speech in the last act when the blinded son makes a wonderful speech about the futility of war, which was very shocking in 1932. I think it's one of the very great plays of the 20th century. I really put it as high as that.